All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, a tutorial on how to get a motorcycle to work properly in GTA 4. Uh, ever since we added the motorcycles in our pack, uh, I've gotten a lot of comments and messages about how to get the motorcycle working. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a tutorial on how to do that. Uh, first things first, you're going to need to download the uh, bike, which I will link it in the description. It's very easy to find. I googled GTA 4 police bike, and this was the second link. Um, so I'll put that in the description. So you download that, you'll get this file here. Uh, you need WinRAR, of course. Uh, you just go ahead and unzip it. It'll throw the folder out. You can go ahead and delete the RAR. So there's your folder. Inside of here, it has everything you're going to need. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and you got to go into your C program files all the way down to Rockstar Games, GTA 4. Uh, actually, I'm going to do it this way. This is a shortcut that just takes me straight to my folder. Uh, this is for Episodes of Liberty City, which I bought through Steam. So yeah, I have to go Steam, Steam Apps, Common, uh, Grand Theft Auto, and then this is my copy. This is my original with no mods. You, my suggestion is copy it. Um, so I'm going to go in here. And the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to go into common data. I'm going to need to go all the way down to vehicles.ide. You're going to want to edit with notepad. Um, you can close, close out anything else that you're running. So you just want this. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come all the way down to the bobber. So I want to use the bobber as the motorcycle. So you come down to here, you go into bikes, and you copy this all the way to the end. Then you, you can right click and you can copy. And then the big thing is a lot of people don't understand. If your motorcycle is not set on a police slot, uh, you cannot do pullovers. Uh, so you need to be on police one, two, patriot, peace stockade, noose, uh, end stockade, FBI, one of these. Uh, in this instance, I think I'm going to want it to be on end stockade. Actually, let's do peace stockade. So you want to leave the two front ones alone and car all the way end. You copy everything and then you paste. So now you have this, and what I do, which I typically, I don't think you need to do, it's just my OCD, I go to here, and I just hit spacebar, just move it over so all of it's lined up. I'm pretty sure you don't need to do that, I just do it. So, now that you're done with that, you save. It'll save, close it out. So now that's done. Now that vehicle will act like a motorcycle. So, now you go into Spark. You start your Spark. You open it up. I'm going to go into my EFLC folder. Models, CD images, vehicles. And let's go to P-Stockade. As you can see, there's nothing on it. I'm going to go to my desktop. And I'm going to find that motorcycle somewhere around here. Ah. Okay. So I'm inside here. Now, in this one, typically, you, they just have them out here. Uh, I'm going to choose high quality textures, and it's, it's called Police Bike. You can rename these. Um, so I'm going to rename it to Peace.Cade. I'm going to import that. Now I'm going to come back up, and there's a little trick I know. You can just go back. For the longest time, I didn't know that. I would go and find the folder all over again. Um, so you have the option between non-ELS and ELS, depending. I want ELS. So again, I'm going to call this P-Stockade, import. Now, those are blue because I've imported something over. This is, this is, a lot of people say you don't have to do this. This is just the way I do it. Um, a lot of people like Jeff, they don't open the folder and do that. They find it all through the browse menu. It's just personal preference on how you want to do it. Again, this is the way I do it. Um, so I save. I rebuild, and I save. That's just what I do. I close it out. Uh, so now you have a police bike working in your pack. Um, now what you need to do is you need to make sure when you come in here, your ELS menu, this is ELS 7, 
Uh, you need to come down to ends.cade. You want to make sure the status is on. Uh, and you want to tell it whatever file. For me, I have it using ends.cade. So when I go into my ELS folder, there is not an ends.cade in here, but typically I would just, you know, I would copy this, I would paste it, and I would call this one, oh, I'm sorry, uh, piece.cade is what we were doing, not n. I'd call it piece.cade. So now this is all the ELS settings that I need to go through for my bike. But if you go in game, you'll have the bike. It'll run like a bike. And because it's on one of the des designated police slots, um, you will still be able to use uh, LCPDFR and the pullover script. And it'll be ELS enabled. Um, so yeah, I hope that was a short tutorial. I hope you guys understand how to do it now. Um, I'll do a little bit more tutorials now that I actually have a software that can record my uh, my desktop without corrupting all the files like before. Um, so I'll slowly, I might start doing a little tutorial series, I don't know. Uh, this is just one that everyone can watch and you can see how to uh, install the um, the motorcycle and you can use it. And yeah, so anyway, I hope this helped you out. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.